and gentlemen, today my topic is about lifelong e-learning with social semantic uh, for life webs for lifelong learners. Okay, the research was done by uh, Leon in 2013. Okay, the abbreviation SSW for LL uh, stands for social semantic web for lifelong learners. So I'm going going to talk about. Uh, the the, uh, the scenario of the uh, lifelong learners within the e uh, learning in um, online learning so lifelong learners are self-directed and self-regulated adult learners and they need assistance in adapting mechanisms to support their personal learning environments the abbreviation personal learning environment is PLE okay so according to Leon uh, today many technological systems provide adult lifelong learners the ease to control their own pace and give them a sense of ownership in the journey of learning so for example in educational students take out the her study online through modules 2.0 the system needs to have a device that enables her to carry out a dynamic uh, personalized uh, life long learning environments okay however there are semantic web uh, video wikis in other languages um, whereas SSW4LL is easy to use because it is in the worldwide accepted language course in English right now uh, the case study conducted by Leon suggests that there are uh, likes and dislikes of SSW4LL as a tool for lifelong learning assistance uh, is, as in the case of all other types of online learning environment all right so overall she study the participants like the SSW4LL have positive comments such as uh, she said number one the tools uh, comments such as number one the tools are fascinating and number two the course is fascinating and full of resources number three comments that uh, Leon got from the um, from his her observation was I found that uh, first week of course fascinating because it uh, allowed me to learn a wide variety of uh, uh, world fascinating online learning for, for her uh, for the students uh, the comments say uh, and which is very exciting for her and adventurous which is what she means is by the uh, uh, online learning online learning she say one the comments from her student uh, research by Leon is exciting and adventurous okay now of course now this is a past research okay of course now we are um, majority of the study nowadays today's of course is online learning so we don't think that is a very um, unusual answer yeah it's everybody thinks and, and come up with different answers about their opinion on online learning all right so a few participants studied by Leon have indirectly disliked the two and with comments such as nowadays we have many many um, uh, comments about uh, dislikes about comments on online learning so particularly she found out that her re ob observers um, or her observers say that the comment are like say I have very little time at the moment and maybe I joined the course too late you know and English is not my first language they, these are the comments that she has found out while doing her research on the online learners so Leon also classified lifelong learners of SSW4LL into types which is applied actually nowadays applied to all types of learning and um, the online learners the characteristic could be like reflective intuitive and could be visual global sensational or verbal or uh, sequential or active learners all types of learners okay in uh, within the online learning so you know nowadays we don't notice much about that but the research past research study before the online learning became popular and these are the characteristics that have found out by the researchers okay right especially by Leon right this uh, these are well my topic today is all about her research about just she just classified one types of online learning so which which is nowadays applied to all types of online learning okay she said it is possible to self-test which type of uh, a learner belongs like you can test yourself as which types of learner belongs for example uh, one type of learner can have many characteristics like Peter uh, like for them Peter uh, he could be reflective intuitive or visual or global and for example Mary could be a uh, reflective sensing visual global you know or for example Jack could be very active or intuitive verbal global so there are many characteristics from uh, the different types of learners online and some 
learners could have many many characteristics you know uh, so this is what she studied yeah she focused on more detail on the online learners environment so the questions are how do you characterize your personal learning environment and how do you prefer to learn you know uh, since I thought lifelong learners need to get used to the online presentation gadgets and devices which may sometimes uh, cause demotivation on the participants because the learners online they need to find out how to go about with the uh, gadgets or devices on the computer and uh, what about uh, the encounter problems like technical problems and all that you know uh, some uh, some of the learners online learners are handicapped with the uh, uh, especially technology which I'm in I'm one of them <laughs> so when they got lost in the devices and gadgets you know which may be a factor that did motivate uh, they are learning online yeah there is okay just remember there are ups and downs in everything we do even in the technological world so that is very sensible so even in what we we do every day is going on, on in our life you know in the technological world we can always encounter problems as well it's the same right makes sense okay this is just applied to uh, SSW for uh, for LL online learning not just applied to that but applied to all types of learning as I emphasize uh, studied by Leon uh, Leon just take an example just to an example of SSW for LL uh, where she studied about the, these online environments and all that nowadays we apply all her studies uh, and her um, findings are applied to all types of learning okay all types of online learning okay this is just a simple one simple topic for me today short and simple all right let's conclude my topics on the social semantic uh, web for lifelong learners and my next topic will be learning with modern technology okay stay tuned and thank you for listening take care goodbye so ladies and gentlemen make sure you subscribe to my channel that you will not miss out any adult education ingredients that i'm about to share with you